yesterday was a good day. And uh, kind of risking it today, even going walking. I took two columns of X-Lax and like they really don't re they don't really take any prisoners. <laughs> I'm gonna put it that way. As a as a kid, or I used to, I used to have to take this stuff because. Well, let me tell you a story. As a child, I was very very afraid of the dark, and we had this. Uh, after we moved out the projects, we had a single wide trailer, and the single wide trailer it wasn't. The newest one. It's kind of like an, an entry level home. As you kind of moved into. But as an adult looking back. It was a pile of shit. But I didn't realize it as a kid. It was just home. It was home. Yeah, That's, that's one of the beautiful things about children. They don't notice what poverty looks like. Um, but it was a single wide trailer. It was one of the older models. I think it was a 70's model. So... Had a big living room and it go into a small hallway. And there'd be my room, a bathroom, and the master bedroom. And that's how it ro rolled. So, there was no lights in the hallway. At least I don't remember ever being a light in the hallway. So, if you wanted light in the hallway, you had to turn on all the rooms going up through it. And they would shine light into the hallway so but this terrified me i wouldn't like say at night and i had to take a stinky i wouldn't actually go take a stinky i would hold it because of all things i always thought a shark would jump out one of the black rooms and bite me but i held it and i held it and i held it and i eventually had poop back up on me and I had to go to the hospital and get an enema. It just hit me one night. I couldn't walk. Painful. So, since then, for about a year, once a month, I had to take a laxative to make sure I went to the bathroom. And uh, <laughs> as a child, I remember that being a lot more vicious than it is an adult. It, like, it almost made me hesitate to put, taking it. I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to be pooping my brains out. Well, I think I've had two good ones, and I was a little bit constipated. I weighed myself again today, and it's back to 409 versus 412.6. Hopefully, it continues to go down. Um, st still same regimen, trying to stay off the sodas, trying to stay off, trying to eat a very low sodium diet right now, and uh, probably need to shave too. I don't know, my beard is looking pretty good today. It's just my mustache is getting on my mouth. Look at this disrespect. I ain't I ain't wanna know what's in it. Could be piss, could be beer. I ain't got nowhere to throw it, but getting it out the road. I'm sure I've said this before. But there's a house I pass every day, and all I can do is just do this. This house has to have 50 dogs in it. It literally does. I'm going to try to get some footage of um, of just the noise that comes from it from me walking by. But man, <laughs> do you want something to drink? Nah, dog, I want nothing to drink. Let's talk about our, our current situation on the walks. Um... I got to, uh, I got to, I got to find some way to change my sleep pattern. <clears throat> my sleep pattern right now is horrible. I'm not getting enough sleep. Uh, last two days I slept maybe four hours. I, I find myself going to bed at like two or two in the afternoon or three in the afternoon, getting up at six, six thirty, and uh, coming out here to do these walks. And um, I think what's going to have to happen is I'm going to change the time I upload these videos to like um and switch it with like i don't know fallouts time like maybe have these walks going up at like five o'clock and fallout going at eight at night and uh i think that's the way it's gonna have to roll because I'm, I'm gonna need to do this walk again before i go to bed and 
so I can try to go ahead and cycle all the way through and get back on a regular sleep pattern and then try to keep myself in that sleep pattern. The thing with me is I'll get into something and it'll mess my sleep pattern up entirely. But once I'm up at night, it seems like it's a vicious cycle. I'm always up at night. It never it never rolls around the other way. It never rolls around Well, I get sleepy at like 10 o'clock. And I'm up all the time during the day. It always seems I I stay up a little past what I'm supposed to. And I end up at night. It just seems that way. As you can see right now, it's, it's getting dark on me. So I got another mile or so to go. So if I think about anything to talk about other than these dogs, I'll let you guys know. I said the uh, Fern Ridge was 15 miles an hour and it's actually 25. The um, <laughs> reason I said that is um, Blue Water, which is the other road to walk, it is 15 miles an hour. And I just had him confused. But I kind of wanted to finish this video off on a note. <laughs> the uh, Skechers with the memory foam in them, those are good shoes. I've been walking in them for about, I don't know, 15 days now. I've put well over 30, probably 30 to 35 miles on them, somewhere in that ballpark. And they've held up good at 400 pounds. I mean, like, when I buy shoes that have a gimmick like that, extra padding, Nike Air. I remember buying a Nike Air at 320 pounds. I bought Nike Airs to work in. Those things popped on the first night of work, eight hours standing on. And I was like, man, well, I guess I lost the Nike Air part. <laughs> well, these memory foams, I figured, I thought the same thing would happen to them. I thought they would, you know, flatten out within the first week. That hadn't happened yet. They bounced back, dude, and it feels good. Like, I had to remind myself take my shoes off at night if I don't oh shit missed up if I don't I have my shoes on all damn night they're just comfortable good good pair of shoes I'll see you guys tomorrow I'm finishing up my walk right now